Itter is a mammoth 180 hectare site. 39 buildings will house everything from a cryogenics plant that will provide liquid helium to cooler magnets to waste management systems. 2,300 workers are on site to construct it all. Lauren Schmieder is in charge of it all as a project manager. He took us on a tour. Around this Tokama complex building, you have other buildings, okay? We have the cryogenic buildings. Yes. We have the uh, uh, coal power supply buildings, okay? We have also the RF building, which is the uh, radio frequency building for the heating of the plasma. And then you will have in the north part later on the other uh, system for heating the machine, which is the neutral beam injector system. Okay? So all around the Tokama complex, you have all the buildings which are required to operate the machine. The engineering marvel of the building that is to house the tokamak needs to be flexible. This is, after all, an experiment, not a proven design. You've created this recess. What, what is this for? So this recess is to introduce large components within the basement level. Okay. So actually, we will be able to introduce the large component, which are the big, longest one, which is 40 meters long, actually, from, from this recess with a lift, actually, with a, um, a crane, okay, uh -huh. mobile crane. Then there will be a platform at that level. And here you can see that we have some temporary, temporary openings, yeah. which will be filled later on. The reactor will sit on 500 seismic pads that will isolate it in case of an earthquake. Even the walls themselves have been carefully constructed just in case. Here we are crossing the seismic ga gap, actually, which is actually the area between the rotating wall and the tokamak complex. So this is the seismic gap. Exactly. Again, any seismic activity, this is the level of... Exactly, um, which allow the building breathing. These walls, yeah. you say it needs to be filled in later on. Exactly. Is there going to be an integrity issue on the building? That's why actually you can see that we have some provision of couplers, actually. Yeah. First of all, to maintain the stability of this uh, refill and the uh, backfilling area. And on top of that, you can see actually these yellow uh, holes, which are actually injection joints. Okay. Right. They will be uh, filled later on within this recess, actually, uh -huh. in order to ensure uh, confinement. The integrity, Okay, yeah. and the integrity. Safety is paramount here. ITER is being built in accordance with French nuclear safety laws, and we're told that a nuclear meltdown is impossible because in a fusion reactor, only a limited amount of fuel, less than four grams, is ever used at any given moment. We are crossing the biofield wall. So how wall. thick are these? Three, three meters? Point, three point twenty-five yeah. at the bottom, and then it ends up, it end up at the end at uh, two point five meters thick. Okay. Why? Why only two and a half at this? Because I mean, because got, actually the, the more radiation area is uh, uh, the, the lower, lower part. Lower, yeah. Yeah. lower part. Okay. okay. Even in the event of a total loss of the cooling function, it is confinement barriers. We're told would not be affected. The billions of dollars that have already been spent, the whole project here in the south of France, this is the exact centre of the tokamak, of the whole ITER project, of the whole hope for this fusion. Exactly. Work. We here are, we are in the centre. We are at the centre, located on the main basement, actually, yeah. the main basement, which is actually uh, rested on the anti-seismic bearings. And at that area, this would be the axial center of the machine. It, it's, it's quite an incredible feeling, actually, isn't yeah. it? I mean, I'm, you're, you're a construction man, I'm a journalist, but we're standing here at the center of something that, if it works, unlimited power for mankind will change everything. And this is the center of it, you're, of the biggest it, yes. do, do you feel the sense of history sometimes? We can be proud, actually, yeah. our, our uh, involvement in this project, of course. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.